Good morning. Hey there, fellers and fellettes. See the trailer attached? No, we're not going racing. Even better. Well, I don't know. There's not much better than racing. But uh, what's better than one Polaris Predator 500? How about two Polaris Predator 500s? That's right. Your boy's going to pick up another Predator. Man, I am so stoked and so excited. I cannot wait. It's an 06 Troy Lee Edition 500 thing is clean 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 i'm super happy about this this move having an extra quad slash backup quad is just going to change things for me i've had situations where we've been down a rider and i've had friends that have offered to come and help but they don't have their own bike so now we're going to have an extra quad also it's cool just to have two quads i mean why not i mean i've got two quads now one's a utility quad i actually bought for my beautiful wife but she uh, she's not real good with the clutch, so I gotta find her an automatic, and I'm still on the hunt for an automatic for her. But um, 06 Troy Lee Players Predator, I'm, I'm just I'm ecstatic right now. I cannot wait. This thing is gonna be so cool. It's been a long day, and I started making a video earlier today and ran out of time, and uh, it kind of had been a busy day, and uh, anywho, I um, got the new race quad home today, and I'm super excited about it. It's uh, three years newer than my other quad. It's the same model. Um, it's a, two, This one's a 2006 Polaris Predator 500, Troy Lee edition. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So my shop's a mess. My shop's a mess. Just ignore that. Uh, guy works a lot, but this is the new race quad. I'm pretty excited. I got a new sticker kit coming for it. Uh, gotta make it mine, you know. Um, you know the deal. Yeah, I've gotta make it mine, and I will. New sticker kit's on the way. I ordered that today. It needs a little bit of work, not a ton. There's uh, some bushings that are bad. So you see the, the handlebars are moving, but the wheels ain't. But that's an easy fix. I've got that part already here from my other Predator. I had ordered new bushing kits, so I goofed up and ordered two sets. I replaced the bushings on my blue bike and the blue and silver bike. And so I've got an extra set here for this one. So, I don't know. This thing's a beast. And it's an 06, so it actually has reverse, which is pretty exciting. Um, it has the two and a half inch spacers on it. My other quad has three inch spacers on it. There's the dirt bike. Ring ring. Or brap. I ain't got no two strokes anymore, unfortunately. I miss having a two stroke. But I've got three inch spacers on this bike. This bike's got two inch spacers. Of course, there's the 39. Hello. 39 Ford with a 330 Hemi V8 out of a 56 DeSoto Fireflight. Anywho's. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. It's got a White Brothers pipe rebranded as uh, Pure Polaris, but it's a White Brothers pipe, and it's adjustable packing, like the old school uh, Super Traps. So you can make it louder or more quiet by adjusting the baffles. I'm probably going to take all those out because right now it doesn't come out the back. It comes out those sides. So I'm probably just going to take all those baffles out and just run it wide open because I like my bikes loud. Uh, some tracks are anal about... Um, decibels or whatever i don't really care about that if they don't let me race that's that's on them you know it is what it is but it'll pass tech inspection it rips uh it does need a car rebuild um it's kind of finicky on the throttle but i will fix that then i don't know if it was the guy i got it from or previous owner to the guy i got it from but <sighs> and i used to be the guy that did this too so it is what it is but 
they went ahead and did one of those jobbers. And I'm not a fan of that because it makes it so much harder to tune the carb. And you figure these guys get paid tons of money. Somebody from Polaris gets got paid a you know a quarter million dollars a year to design the airbox so these things run efficiently. And yeah, they're probably lean from the factory so people don't blow them up. You know, it is what it is, but um, I'm going to put a factory air box back on it with just a high flow filter, probably a K&N drop in. Um, I found, um, factory air box on the internet for like 130 bucks. So I'm going to snag on that off eBay uh, and I got the new sticker kit coming for it. I got different grips coming for it. Everything's going to match. So these plastics are black and the new sticker kit. Well, you'll see when it comes, but it's pretty bomb. Uh, I got a metal militia bar pad for it. And then, um, I think I'm going to put some ASV levers on this one. And then I'm thinking I'm going to throw some color on it. I think I'm going to do some powder coating on this one. Anywho, keeps, uh, keep watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate all the help and uh, with the channel. And just stay tuned and we'll have some more videos here. And we'll get some more racing in. I got two more races this year. One more Monster Truck Show and one more TT race. But... Just a quick look at the toys. I'm running out of time on the video, but and then the old drift trike and the mini bike.